Oh. What? What? Somebody came and picked it up. I swear to God. Yeah. <laughs> that was funny. What's up, guys? Today we do some awesome kayak fishing with the brand new BioSpawn Rattle Bot lipless crankbait. You guys are going to love this thing when it drops. Let's go ahead and just get right into it. Plenty of catches today as well as information on how to fish this bait. Let's go. There we go. Got one. In the shallows on the lipless. There we go. Throwing the red color. Looks like a couple pounds. Let me get us on uh, spot lock real quick. Might lose him. Be all right. Okay, first one of the day. Feeling good. This is on the new Rattlebot, by the way. Uh, I don't know when it's going to be releasing, but apparently I spoke about it a little too soon. So prototype bait. Here you go. I got a little too. I, I got not enough line out. Let me let a little line out there. Here we go. Bring that bad boy up here. Front facing rod holder and. Dink, da, da, dink. Not good. He's cold, cold, cold. Nice one. Pound and three quarters minimum, two and a quarter maximum, I'd say, just because it's nice and plump. Doesn't necessarily have all the length, but that's the first one in the act today. So I just spot locked, cast it right along the reed edges here, slowly creeping it out, and the red color got their attention. That is sick. Yeah, I was all but certain this was gonna draw them in. Water's a little bit more stained than normal. This red is really popping, and I hear it's a good wintertime color. I got sent this and a yellow Rattlebot from Catchco. This is more of the crawfish style one versus the just standard bait fish. Uh, they say that because the eye positioning on this craw one is on the back of the bait. So you see this is like the eyes back here, like a crawfish fleeing the scene in reverse. You know how they do. Got the Biospawn logo here on the bottom. Y'all might not be able to hear a dang thing because of this wind but it's got the Transformers look and appeal and the bass will hit it, ladies and gentlemen. So that is the deal, treble hooks. Uh, ideally, you'd use a rod that has a softer tip, more of a cranking style rod, something like the Guggen Squad Reaction. I am using something uh, other than, it's got a little bit of a fast tip, so you got a little chance of yanking those treble hooks out sometimes. Also not keeping those fish pinned, but don't have my reaction rod on me as usual. So. We're just cranking and yanking them lips, boys. Let's see if we can get another kind of that same area over here. Just yo-yoing it. Raise the rod tip, gets that crawfish swimming towards me. Then as I lower the rod tip and reel, the bait is paused. Almost like a jerk bait, you know? You're kind of moving it, then pausing it. Moving it, then pausing it. Yes, it's different, but at the same time, it's the same. It's the same, but it's different, you hear? So, I'm just creeping it nice and slow. The water temps are still cold. I'm not trying to just rip this thing right by these bass and not even give them a chance to go at it where they're less active since they're cold blooded and so they don't feel like moving too much if i can get another I get another fish or two over here though and i kind of got a bit of a pattern going along these reeds i'm definitely gonna throw some bigger baits and i either have weeds or a fish right now but i think it's a fish it's fighting back yep that's a big tree if this is a tree it's a big tree boys oh this one might be another pound bigger maybe not maybe he's just got some good fight in him i'm just cranking him slowly i haven't seen this fish yet oh he's bigger Oh, he's big time. Okay. What do we got here? Three pounds? That might be three and a half. That might go four. It's getting bigger by the second. God dang. All right. Red lipless. See if I can get him in the boat. Look at you can't shake the rattle bot. That thing's got treble hooks, son. What are you doing? You couldn't if you wanted to. All right, we're stepping our game up out here, boys. He choked it, so I'm gonna go straight for the straight for the handy dandy pliers do not fish treble hooks without pliers y'all you could get in a sticky situation where you actually end up uh, i don't really want to say it but you could end up killing a fish if you're not able to retrieve these hooks out of there so you'll want to uh always make sure you got pliers on deck when you're rocking the treble hook baits is all i'm saying because this one right here would be a little tricky to go in with the hands i mean he choked it he wanted that rattle bot biospawn did a good job with those sticky hooks let me tell you something he ain't four pounds but that's definitely over three actually he's fat Yeehaw, cowboys. That's number two out here in Texas. You know what? I talk a big game. Maybe it's like one pound. Let me just get this new Guggen Squad scale out real quick. I might be like way off. I don't weigh fish as often as I used to, so maybe I just don't know what I'm talking about at all. All right, zero pounds, zero ounces. How does this thing work? Oh, you gotta, you gotta separate it. Okay, here we go. 
come on over three pounds don't lie to me okay all right all right she's tiny closing in though two pounds 12 ounce two pounds oh dang settle it's gonna beep at me two pounds 12 ounces so what does that mean two and three quarters so i wasn't too far off but i was also not correct this is not a three pounder definitely not a four pounder in the water you know how they look sometimes you know you always think it's a 10 and it comes off and it's really like a five. Second fish of the day red lipless getting it done aka the rattle bot uh coming soon get your pre-orders in actually i don't think you can pre-order it just be ready is all i'm saying see you bud That one hit it, that one smacked it. Wow, drag slipping. Oh, taking drag. I didn't tighten that drag up. Yo, that was a different hit right there. That was something. Wow, he is running. Oh my God, Devin, you gotta fish this. They want it. Dang, this one might be 10 pounds. <laughs> I think they keep getting bigger. Oh, he's hooked good, top of the mouth too. He swooped at it. Ah, that one might go for three right there. See, it's as easy as one, two, three. Follow us on Instagram, y'all. Almost at 100,000 followers. Let me get this thing unhooked and in the water. Oh, fish number three, probably three pounds. See ya. Big one. All right, I think I wore him out on this little guy in this exact spot, but I am spot locked on the juice still, and I'm gonna see if I can step things up, up the ante. Don't worry, we're getting to this big guy right here, but maybe we just work incrementally. And let's go over to the Buka Bull Shad right quick and see if something new roaming in front of their face doesn't get bit. Oh, it looks like Devin's on. You on? She's got one. Oh, yeah. Not too sure if we got this catch on film. My GoPro had like 28%. If you don't film it, it didn't happen. Winter bass, beautiful. I'd say probably two and a half, maybe two and three quarters. But we're going to go ahead and get this guy back in the water. Yes or no? Yes? Oh, we do have a fish. <laughs> well, that was like second cast. It's a little guy on the Buka Bull Shed too. See, this is why you guys can't be intimidated to throw big baits, man. I'm telling you what. What is this, a six inch swim bait or something like that? I think this is the six inch. It's the larger size, man. And uh, yeah, just like that right off the bat this is what you got to do when you want those big fish boys take a look at this upsize the bait upsize the fish i'm telling you not quite what i was looking for but uh we did kind of prove a little bit of a point i casted the rattle bot in that exact spot time and time again and uh, i think they were over it i think they had just seen it too much man and then i throw this uh bull shad over there for the first or second time kind of fan casting around the same area and bada bing bada boom so we're stepping things up. I don't know if I should go for the big one just yet or if I should try for one more fish. The thing is, I've only got so much real estate here. This is a good spot. And I think something that would go after this would also go after the big bait. So let's just go full tilt for you guys. We're gonna give it, gotta give it at least 10 minutes, at least 10 minutes worth of casts on the DRT Ghost. This is the Joy Thief color. Yes, this bait is over a foot long. It's like 15 inches with this V-tail. Uh, yeah, I mean, if this don't get your PB, I really don't know what will. The thing is, I bet you that same fish that just swiped the bull shad would also swipe at this and could get hooked. It's funny how it works with me. You know, generally you upsize the bait, you upsize the catch. With Weston Smith, it's almost the exact opposite. You throw big baits, you're almost guaranteed a small fish. And uh, don't quote me on that, but it seems to be right a lot of the time. Okay, let's see. Real sounding better than ever. No, I didn't just scare every fish in that area at all. Oh my gosh, you want to talk about a bad to the bone bait. Look at this thing right here. If I don't get swooped at, phew, forget about it. The thing is, I want it to dive just a little bit. Um, I wish it would stay subsurface a little bit better. That would really help my confidence, but the right bass is going to come up and swoop at it. I've been throwing this thing almost every time I go out since I've had it. Uh, this rod is not made for it, by the way. This is like a random seven foot four inch rod. It's a like, oh God, there we go. That's how you catch fish right there. Oh God, let's go. Come on, there we go. Yeah, 
Um, so this is an early prototype rod. I did order a cheap, extra heavy swim bait rod that's geared for like up to 16 ounce baits, like a pound, maybe 14 ounce, maybe 12. I honestly forget, but this thing's like eight ounces, eight and a half. So yeah, so I got a rod coming. It's back ordered and whenever I have it, you'll see it. What? What? Something came and picked it up. I swear to God. Yeah. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah, he did. He's not. Oh no. That was a quick release. <laughs> you think that was four pounds or maybe. maybe four pounds? It looked pretty dang big. That's cool. Dang, you got your coffee holder and everything. What the heck? He just straight up helped you with the snag. Well, what else is over here? <laughs> More branches. Yep, I think I got one. That might be one. There we go. A little guy. Well, they are still hitting the rattle bot. There we go. There we go, there's another one. Man, the advantage of a lipless crankbait is you can, oh, he's swimming right towards us too. Yep. You can get so much distance with these things, whether it's windy or not, like, you wanna talk about a far cast, you throw a lipless crankbait, it's just that profile, I don't know. You can get these things cast a mile. Also, you know if you've got grass on this thing too, if the bait kind of swims left or right when you're retrieving it, whether it's just got a little bit of grass like where you tie the line or it's got a little bit of grass on one of the hooks, it'll affect the swim. So if I, if I feel like I notice it's swimming to the left or to the right as I'm bringing it back in, I, uh, I have been ripping it a little bit to try and free it of the grass and that tends to work. This guy choked it. Kind of moved over to another more calm area of the lake here. And that seemed to do the trick, hanging out in the reeds again, just on the way out, two pounds or so. I will see you, buddy. Yeah, so you just gotta watch yourself. I'm getting snagged up a lot. I mean, in some areas of this place, uh, a bladed jig might be a little bit better, but I am rolling with the punches. This has got the rattle and it's bringing them in, so I don't need to worry too much. I'm trying to work it pretty slow too. You know, like as slow as possible without it just sinking down to the bottom. There's a lot of dead lily pads in here in those stems. It's just gonna get cranked on those things. So yeah, this isn't maybe the best bait to be throwing over here, but it's getting bait, so I've got the confidence in it tonight. No need to switch it up. Throwing it on the Metanium DC reel. This is probably like 15 pound fluorocarbon. And then, uh, you know, something like a seven foot two medium heavy rod right here. But I'd recommend the Guggen Squad reaction rod for this bait specifically. It's just not what I have got tied on today. Oh, there we go. There's one. Little guy. I think that's fish number five on this bait today uh, with one on the bull shad. Do not forget the pliers if you're throwing the trebles. All right, youngest buck of the day. <laughs> Gotta have some little ones that are gonna grow up to be big and strong. But real quick, red is probably the color you've seen us throw the least on this channel out of all the, I don't know, major colors. You got like your bluegill patterns, your black and blues, your shads, like all those white colors, your chartreuses, like your yellows. Uh, what am I missing? I mean, you got this, that, and the other. I know I'm not naming them all, but red is definitely a color you have seen us throw probably the least. And I've been gaining a little bit more confidence in it. All it takes is, uh, all, really all it takes is like if I was watching the video of me fishing it right now, I'd be like, okay, I guess I need to get some, some red baits. And so that's kind of what happened with me. You know, as I watch people's vlogs and I see people fish, I gain confidence in almost whatever they're using, right? I'm in Texas, but let's say I'm watching a vlogger who's up filming in the north and they're throwing a certain color. I might grab that color anyways because I almost have more confidence in it. Whether the bass down here eat the same thing as they do up there, just knowing that I have seen that color work and it's almost like a mental thing and so it seems to work well no matter what. It's funny, but a lot of folks probably have their confidence color. In fact, drop your confidence color down below. Let me know what is your favorite color, your go-to across multiple baits. I'm quite curious. 
because something for me like red that I don't throw that much might be y'all's favorite color and maybe you don't venture out into some of the others and uh, hey reds are supposed to do good in these colder water temps I have seen some of my friends do well with them and so you know we got sent one of these let's tie it on rig it up and dude let me tell you what they've been smashing it maybe if you learn anything from this video it is try some new colors venture out and try and get some confidence in something different i've been trying to go fairly slow with this thing too the one that i have here today i forget the size on it but it seems a little light so if i work this yo-yo technique a little too fast it'll come up to the surface it's kind of nice having this lighter one because i can give it a nice steady retrieve and i can stay fairly slow with it and it's not going to sink down too quick and get me caught up in the stuff so depending on where you're fishing is going to kind of dictate what size you want you know if it's super deep you might want that heavier one to drop down a little bit faster you're going to get further casting out of it it. Uh, and then you know for me I'm kind of working this yo-yo technique letting it fish and pause fish and pause a lot of these catches have just been on a steady retrieve but I'm able to work it a little bit slower which is better for the colder water temps because of the fact it is a little bit lighter so just keep that in mind all right and that about does it for today's episode i hope you guys enjoyed and if you want to pick up this bait just know it is going to be releasing soon seems that this fishing's worst kept secret and a lot of influencers have been getting the word out early on it and i didn't want to be the last one to mention it so i made a couple of videos now showcasing its features we're throwing the red one today we've got a yellow one right here let us know where you'd like to see us fish it and we'll catch you guys on those future episodes peace out <clears throat>